Mr. Turner, um, can you tell us something about ERAT? What kind of a project is that? ERAT means uh, environmentally responsible air transport and we have been looking into trying to make uh, aviation more efficient, that is using the energy better, so we um, leave less a burden on the environment, we save energy and we also create less noise for the people living around airports. Okay, and one of the elements will be uh, the so-called continuous descent approaches. What is that? Can you tell us something about it? Yes, I think that's an area where air traffic control is not very efficient today. So to arrange uh, aircrafts arriving, coming from various directions, going to large airports, and to allow them to fly an efficient uh, descent profile is very difficult. So we have been looking into means to uh, provide the air traffic controllers with a better system support to organize and plan traffic better to allow the aircraft to fly more efficient, that is the fly profile that they want to fly. So this also will have a benefit for the people uh, living around big airports like Schiphol Airport. Correct. Uh, within Erot we are testing uh, with Stockholm Arlanda, but in the end the idea is that we can use those results from this uh, project also for Schiphol Amsterdam, uh, so that we can make uh, continuous descent approaches not only during the night, but also during daytime. Okay, now Erat uh, consists of many partners involved in this project, uh, amongst others NLR. What is the specific role of NLR in this project? NLR has been working uh, on uh, the concept of operations, which is the uh, general description of how the, the continuous descent approaches should be operated into the airport. And in addition, we've been working hard to prepare uh, a large air traffic control simulation of Arlanda Airport, together with our other partners, LFV, the air traffic control provider, and DLR, the German Aerospace Center, to make a, uh, a large-scale air traffic control simulation. Okay, and right now we are in Amsterdam at Narsim Radar, one of the facilities of NLR. What is the importance of this facility? It pr provides uh, simulator platforms, radar screens for the controllers. It also provides uh, means to represent the aircrafts in a, in a simulated environment here. So they are also uh, very, very much looking like a real situation for the controllers where they are talking to aircraft, they are organizing the traffic and the uh, pseudo aircraft or the pilots, we call them here, that are working like uh, real pilots, is working very nice and making it realistic so we can understand what are the benefits, what are also perhaps the remaining problems to make uh, air traffic more efficient. What kind of experiments did you do concerning the ARAT project? Um, this year we started doing all the preparations and this took about uh, six months and in the end in Malmö in June we made a, a large simulation on the Narsim radar installed in Malmö at LFV and the second uh, follow-up uh, simulation was uh, conducted um, at uh, NLR in September of also a week with uh, six air traffic controllers from Sweden. Uh, where we tested the concept of the continuous descent approaches into Arlanda. Now, what is the specific role of NLR? NLR have been supporting in uh, the description of the concept, but mostly in uh, developing the platform, that is the functionality, the human-machine interface, so we are able to uh, look at the benefits and perhaps also problems to make air traffic control more efficient. And how important is this, this role of NLR in the project? I think it's very important because uh, you need a well-organized platform, you need high level of realism, there's an awful lot of testing, software development and checking with controllers that this will work, so the role of NLR is uh, very important. Okay, and in which phase of the project are we right now? 
At the moment we are finished with all the simulations and we are quite busy with analyzing uh, the results and documenting the results. And we are almost uh, ready by now.